Hi guys! Mika here from BitPost and today's video is about gasoline station business. As a business owner, you're very aware of how important it is to be able to run transactions and accept payments. It is quite literally the foundation of any business. And as a gas station owner, you're even more aware of how important it is to have an effective POS system. Gas station customers expect fast and reliable service and you can meet this demand through BitPost point of sale system. Having our POS solution truly really can help you manage your sales more effectively. So for our gasoline station business, first, click items and inventory, and then the unit of measure. You will check if you already have the unit of measure that is suitable for your business. So for gasoline, it's liter per liter. So we will input it here. And then click add new. Now as you can see, we have new unit added. Now, we can now proceed to items and categories. Select the item tax type, item type, the unit of measure, the type, category, and check this US Quick Picks to yes. And then the category name. Don't forget to click Add New. Now, as you can see, we have new item category. You can now proceed to items. So input the gasoline. To copy, Control C, and to paste, Control V. Select the category. Yeah, you. Editable description, always check this editable description. And of course, generate barcode. And click insert new item. Now for the next gasoline. Again, copy using Ctrl C and paste using Ctrl V. The name and the description should always be the same. Now, click Editable Description and Generate Barcode. Click Insert New Item and we can now proceed to our last gasoline. Again, Control C and Control V and Generate Barcode. Insert new item, and now that we're done with the items, we can now proceed to sales pricing. Select the sales type and the sales price. And then click add new. Now for our next gasoline. Again, click add new. And for our last one. And click Add New. Now that we're done with sales pricing, we can now proceed to Inventory Adjustments. So our quantity is per liter. Click Add Item and proceed to the next one. And 
for our last one. Now, click Process Adjustment to process the adjustment. And now that we're done with item adjustment, we can now proceed to reports. And then click inventory, stock movement report. You can filter here the category. And then click display. So now you will see here the description with the unit of measure, the inward and the balance. So there are two ways to transact here in our gasoline station business. First, click Quick Picks, and then select the category. Select the gasoline. And then let's say the customer wants a fuel worth of 100. Just input 100 here in the amount, and it will automatically change here in the quantity per liter. And then you can now tender. Input the customer's payment amount. And tender sales. Now, the receipt printer will print and the cash drawer will open. Now, for our second way, to transact here in our gasoline station business, select the gasoline. And now, let's say the customer wants 2 liters of fuel. You will just input here in the quantity 2 liters and it will automatically charge here in the amount. Now, you can just tender and input the customer's payment amount. Again, the receipt printer will print and the cash drawer will open. Now we can go back to back office and check the stock movement report and the inventory. You can filter it to gasoline. Now you can see here the outward, the balance, and of course, the description with the unit of measure. We also have the capability to link the pump directly to the POS, but of course, charge your supply in integrating. Now, optimize your business to its true potential with BitPost point of sale system. If you want to boost your business, choose BitPost.